corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from Let's see how this map look. It's pretty straightforward. Move forward and we can't really turn anywhere. So... Not a lot of, a lot of things matter on this map. Could just hold in the button and move. Yeah, of course you have to loot that. And a trap. It's another trap? Not really. We can take care of that and we need to use a torture and the room and see what we find. That's a large ectoplasm, but we're surprised. Would have been nice if we got him the other one, but we can't have everything here, can we? Kill that thing, and of course we failed. But lower damage, that's nice. So mark that big thing, so we will be able to kill it e easily in the future. Could decrease the dodge, we don't have a lot of dodge. Could heal yourself, you don't have a lot of that. So, heal him. He got two damage. So do that. Four, but still only two. I don't think you can overheal in this game. Hmm. Stun is bad. Probably a crushing blow here. And a nice crit! 24 damage. That will make this fight a lot faster. Except if it spawn a lot and are mean like that. That happens sometimes. Another 4 heal? Good. And a sniper shot should kill this thing. Or maybe not. At least this means they can't spawn anything big next turn. Or this turn. They can all spawn small, spawn small things. Let's kill them one this back. Give them no quarter. Miss, nice. Spawn another one. I don't want to kill the big ectoplasm because it's already dead. It has so little life. It doesn't matter, really. It can do some nasty things. But we need to decrease their numbers. Executed with impunity. And then we can kill it. Otherwise, we'll they will just keep spawning. So let's use this on the vessel so she can get a bigger heal on herself. A dead vessel is a bad vessel. If you need to choose between healing the vessel and healing anybody else, gone, heal the vessel. And please don't spawn anything now. Please. I said please, okay? And should act before this guy. And I won't risk it, so we'll use judgment to kill it. Prodigious size Good kill of air. The sharpened blade. Did we bring a key? Probably not. A trifling yeah, we victory. Didn't. But a victory. Open this thing anyway. C congratulations. We got deeds and stuff. We're rich. We'll need to use a shovel and we have a fight pretty soon. Walking forward and Okay, I think we should kill the Krona first. That's just my guess. Create a... I'm not high bleed, bleed resist. So it could work. Should mark that thing. It needs marking. Then shoot her. I think she can do some nasty things. Not quite sure. Haven't fought against her a much, a lot, a much. A much just sounds strange. And most definitely is the wrong way to say any word at all. And stop moving us around, okay? That's just mean. And I don't like it. But at least some people have movement abilities which are useful. And she can, can actually do things from that position, so that's good. Let's use judgment on her. She's dead now. Yeah, she is. Good. Can move back two times. Would have been better if I moved. Maybe. Perhaps but it's saved one attack. I don't know. 
it's hard to know which is the best thing to do in a situation like this when your people move, or move around. Like in which order you should move and which should you attack and so on. Like it could be in the right positions this turn here now, but I could also... But then I would have not killed the thing here in the back and that would have been bad. So I don't know which of those things is the best choice, if you understand what I mean. Nice stress healing thing. And you can move two forward and we're in the right positions again. Good. Ouch! That hurt a lot. Just shoot a killing blow on him, please. Maybe this, collect bounty. Yeah! The the beast, a nice crit there. The greater the glory. We'll need to dig for some rubble here in the future. As and we've got a lot of gold. Mount, nice, nice. So too will resistance. Looking in the light and digging. Light hand torch. Open a chest. Not a chest, just a sack. And moving forward to victory and glory and whateverness. Everything good that they heard about. Yeah, let's eat. We have loads of... Oh, we, we met a corpse in the beginning. I thought, where did all our food come from? We have, like, two stacks of food. I didn't bring that much food. At least I hope I didn't. Because that would have been a waste of money. Should light another one. Let's see. No useful to use for that and we would only get food from it and we have a lot of food so no thank you scouting here there's a fight here and a, uh, two fights so we'll at least get to fight two times they're not surprised moves me forward probably yeah and marked she will be hit by a nasty bleed from that guy, probably. No, she won't, because she will have moved back to a safe location. He will, though. And uh, that bleed is nasty. Well, let's go for a heal here. And try to kill these people. I need to kill the coldest lost, so I will kill the brawler first. Decimated. And if you're wondering why I need to kill the cults last, it's because last, not last, I need to kill the skeleton last. But I need to kill the cultist now because otherwise she could spawn stuff. And I don't like when my enemies spawn things. Do I have banished? No, I don't. Yes, just kill him. Confidence yeah, surges good. As the enemy crumbles. Nice fight here. Nice fight. And don't need to touch that or that. Yeah, we're, we're at the right type of missions. I'm the wondering if we struck. were on that A thing. Blazing we should star is born. Do something to meet. But who did it? it wasn't that type of mission. That's good. So I need to kill the cutthroat last. Well Mark him. Struck. Crit, one damage. Why not? Go for a heal. On him, he needs it most definitely. I will just focus on the guy in front, the big tough dude, and I will focus on healing my healer. Should I heal my healer? Will he drop down to Death's Door by this? Yes, he will. So do that. So now she's safe from Death's Door. Really good. Decrease their chance of dying and giving a lot of stress. Do this again to give her a lot of healing buff on herself. Received healing 40% plus. And now she's not in the death store. Miss damage! And he's really low. A hand Move skill. Don't die, Vestal. I really don't want you to die. 
You're a rookie Vestal, but you're still a Vestal. And I hate when my Vestals die. 8 healing? Just because we got all the healing buffs from our thing here. Our Arbalist. Like that class. Knock back. But the best way to do this fight is to move the Arbalist here to forward. It's the absolute best way to do this fight. But I can't do that with the setup I have, have here. So it's kind of useless. And that's a 7 bleed. And I don't have anything to heal with. I could increase this buff again. Probably a good idea. She's kind of tanking like a, bar like a paladin in Puffine right now. He has taken all the hits and healing. A nice AoE would be nice next turn. In a Don't die, Vessel, please. I'm actually trying to keep you alive here. Good. Seven. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. We have we're having problems here with our vessel. As life and ebbs, him. terrible vistas of emptiness Most reveal definitely. themselves. So I will do the scream because it can kill this person here and debuff the rest. Please, please. have you removed the damage dealing component from it? Yeah, he has. That's bastard. And these things didn't increase it. That's interesting, because on other attacks, if you have a penalty on damage, your items increases the damage from zero to an amount that actually deals damage. I did not know about that. And I will remove her from the left store. He will get back there. But... Do you have zero health? Yeah, you have. I like when that happens. Heal yourself. Five. Good. That's nasty. This is Death Star. Yeah. The brink, facing the abyss. You, you might be dead. As but I can't do anything. Falls, but... Oh, yeah. Salt. Blossoms. Did you change this ability? Names or whatever I should call you. I don't actually know what I should call you. But did you change it? Because I think it should deal damage right now, but it doesn't. And I actually say that it should deal damage, but no, it doesn't. And I don't have shield ally on him. Okay, you changed it, yeah. You bastard! Don't die. Thank you! I don't like that blade, but still, thank you for not dying. Dying's bad. Yeah. Heal him again. Eight. Nice healing. Five. Blade will be a death store. Or not. I will feed him some food after this combat. Say so one drop down to death store and give everyone a bit of stress. Because how much health you have. You have zero health and you have two damage. So you need to eat a minimum of two food. Let's give you three. In case of emergency. Oh, we have loads of food, so let's fill your tummy up. And let's fill her as well. I don't think we'll get, actually, more than one eating thing. But I want to eat more food than that. But I know that some people will go and get some stress healing after this mission. They definitely need it. And more Arbalists, of course. Of course. Of course.
What's your debuff? 25%. Could be good. I don't like short missions. At least for less bleed effects now. So that's something. Should probably attack the other one, but yeah. devastating blow. I hate when you get crits on people with low health. It seems like a waste, I know it's not. But it seems like a waste. This is a more economic heal. So that's good. Miss great actually. Really like when I miss. No! That, that, that's really, really wrong actually. I really like when the enemy miss, not when I miss. Kill the one that's actually dangerous. Or I should have focused on the other one because it's easier for me, for my people to attack it. Perched at the very Death score, that's of nasty. She might die. So I will kill that person. And please don't kill my vessel. I sh she's a rookie. But rooks need to live too. That's the only way to get experienced people. A nice crit, I like that. Dead! That happens sometimes, but it was a rookie. Sp spent a little gold on it, but... Whatever. If we lose one more player... Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow we'll have some and problems with this character. It, wh why do you facepalm me? Why? I couldn't give her a heal with any character to remove her from Death Store or anything like that. In Radiance, may we find victory. So, what should I have done differently? Please tell me if, if you know. I'm quite interested. And these trinkets are protection and... Right. We can give her... Protection instead of stress resist. Light a torch. And here's a combat. A ghoul! Has a ghoul gone to the wrong place? I don't think ghouls should be here. Okay, I will try to see it. And this ghoul is lost, right? I feel like ghouls shouldn't be here. Let's choose one. Shoot one of these dogs. I will jump forward, forward, and my other people can kill this easily. But I will mark this person here because he needs to die. A horrible, horrible death. Should probably kill this. Try to kill this person so we get down to one Obliterated. enemy. So it's easier to keep my people alive because I have one heal, and as long as there's only one attack per turn, we can just remove from Death Store. Let's see. Oh, define best enemy in the game. Because I might not think it's the best enemy. Because I don't like different enemies than you, I think. This expedition Ooh. at least promises success. And nice that I got a trinket anyway. What do we find? Finding the stuff is Bandages only the first and food test. And stuff. Let's now leave. It must be carried home. <laughs>